Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi! Today I am so excited because I have pretty much finally completed my Rowan Beauty collection. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. I just haven't purchased the products to do so. And then Rowan had a sale recently. I was like, okay, now's the time to get them. I really want them. So I picked up three shades of the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. And these have been out for a long time, but I just didn't know if I would like them. I keep seeing people like doing swatches of them and I keep seeing how they look on people and they're just so beautiful. And people are saying like the feel of them is really amazing. So I was like, do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> so I finally got them. Um, they do have three other shades in the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm shimmers, but people have been saying that those are really drying for some reason. So I was like, well, I don't, I don't need that. I have enough shimmery lip gloss. But these ones just looked really nice. Um, first of all, they come in this super cute little um, like cotton canvas tote bag. And I just love that it came that way. Instead of being packaged with like other packaging material, it came with this little reusable washable bag. So I thought that was great. But let's go ahead and talk about these babies. So the three shades that I got are the three original shades. There's Scout, Remy, and Charlie. Um, these reminded me of like the Charlie's Angels of lip balms or something like that. Like the names, I guess because it's Charlie, but they all just kind of reminded me of like Charlie's Angels. First things first, these are $26 each. Like I said, I did purchase them when they were on sale because I love Rowan products. Like I feel like I'm obsessed with everything that they have. Um, just every product that they have, I've made a video on besides these until now. Um, they're just, they're all so great. Um, but they are expensive. So I try to pick them up whenever they're on sale. Like I've gotten things on sale for 20, 30% off whenever they've done like those bigger sales. When I saw that they were having a 20% off sale, I was like, okay, well, now seems like a good time. Like I said, I've made all of the videos about the other Rowan products. So if you've never heard of Rowan before, they are an amazing, clean, cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free brand made in the USA. Um, their products are just so amazing. They have a very unique formula to them. So they have like standalone single shadows. They have eyeshadow palettes, um, but the eyeshadows are not your normal type of eyeshadow. They are like cream to powder glitters. So they're super shimmery, super shiny, and they're super creamy and interesting to the touch, but then they dry down like a powder. Today I have one of the eyeshadows on from the 75 degrees palette, which all of those eyeshadow palettes are so dang pretty. I love them. They also have an amazing mascara called the Cake Mascara. They have brow products, which are great and really universal with the three shades that they have. So yeah, now was the time to try these because I've tried everything else. So a little info on these lip balms. So it says they are a non-sticky alternative to a classic lip gloss. This liquid lip balm soothes the lips as it nourishes, regenerates and repairs, formulated with mango and grapeseed oils to hydrate and protect. Kiss My provides the high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm. So that sounds pretty amazing. And the three shades in order are going to be Remy, which is the lightest shade, which is considered a glossy nude. So this is what the packaging for Remy looks like. It's like a nudish colored. Um, let's go ahead and see it. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at the packaging for this. It's very pretty. So I'll swatch them on my hand so you can see them and then I will put them on as well. Oh, it's like a slightly bent applicator. Let's see if it'll focus on that instead. There we go. It's a really beautiful nude color. So let me put a little on my hand. That's what it looks like right there. And then let me go ahead and put some on my lips. Ooh, it's minty. I love this already. Okay, so this is what the shade Remy looks like. It's super pretty. It gives a really like minty, pepperminty, um, 
scent. Like I can taste the scent, if that makes sense. Like I don't necessarily smell it. I smell it a little bit. Like it smells like a sweet peppermint. You know, like those ones that you get at Christmas time, like those sweet candy canes or sweet peppermint balls. That's what the scent tastes like and smells like. It's very faint. Um, it does give you like a little bit of a tingling sensation, not anything too crazy. Like it's not burning my lips. It's not tingling too much. Like it is a nice feeling. Um, but this color is so beautiful. This is like the perfect nude, the perfect my lips but better. It's not sticky at all. It feels super moisturizing. Like it feels like I slathered like a lot of lip balm on. Um, and it just feels really nice and it gives like a really pretty color. Um, so I'm super happy with this shade so far. This is definitely something that's up my alley. Like I would wear this color all the time because it is like a very nude color. Like this pretty much matches my lip color and it doesn't make me feel awkward. Like I'm wearing too much or anything. So uh, I'm loving the shade. So let me take this off and we'll try out Charlie. So now that I've taken off Remy, let's go ahead and try Charlie. Um, it does still leave my lips feeling really moisturized, so that is good. Um, this is the shade Charlie right here. It's a little bit deeper than Remy. This is considered a dusty rose, and this is how the applicator looks. It's a very interesting feeling with the applicator too, by the way, because I'll show you up close, but it's like a, it has like a hole in it, so you can feel that when you're applying it. <laughs> Um, but this is the shade Charlie right here. It's a little bit deeper than Remy, but it's really beautiful. Let's go ahead and apply it. So this is the shade Charlie. Um, I like this color. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more brown toned, but it's really pretty still. Um, I do want to point out that I really like this applicator. It does feel a little weird on the lips because it has that hole in it, but the tip is pointed so that you can get like that really accurate lip line when you're, you know, going around the corners of your lips. You can get a really accurate application. So I really like that. You know, most doe foot applicators, like they're a little bit too round to get that perfect application, but this one is perfect. I would say this is a really amazing fall shade or a really amazing everyday shade for medium to deeper skin tones. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's not too red, it's not too berry, it's not too brown. It's just like a perfect neutral, which these two seem to be um, a really good neutral color, so I really like that. Let me go ahead and take off Charlie, and then we will go ahead and try out the last one, which is Scout. Okay, so now that I've taken off Charlie, let's go ahead and try Scout. And this is the deepest shade of the three, and this one is a deep berry. And that is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. This seems like it'll be a really good fall color. So let's go ahead and try this out on our hand. Um, this is what it looks like first. I'm interested how this will look on me because it seems really opaque, you know, in here, but all of them seem pretty light. So this is what Scout looks like right here. So we have Scout, Charlie, and Remy. It looks like a really beautiful berry color. Let's try this out. So this is what Scout looks like on me. It's a very beautiful color. You definitely have to be a bit more careful if you have a lighter skin tone like I do, um, just because it's definitely a deeper shade than the other two colors, but it looks really beautiful on. I was a little bit nervous, but it's not too dark. It's not too purple. It's not too 
like cool tone, but it's also not too warm tone um, where it would look weird on my skin tone because I'm a bit in between. Um, but it, it's a really beautiful color. I really am surprised. I feel like this would be a really good color during the fall and winter in the cooler months. Or obviously if you have a deeper skin tone than I do, it would be beautiful anytime because it would blend in more. Um, but I really, really like this color. I wasn't expecting to like it as much, but it also makes my teeth look really white, so <laughs> that's pretty good. But I feel like these three colors are actually really wearable, which I love. So yeah, I would say if you were thinking of picking any of these up, any of these options would be a good choice. They're all just really pretty and really neutral and would go with anything, any time of the year. There are the three other shades of the shimmer ones. So the shimmer shades are, let's see, I'll name them for you. There's Cosmo, which is clear, Rumor, which is a shimmery light pink, and then Bowie, which is, it says shimmery nude rose, but it looks a bit orange to me. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any of those just because now I have these. I feel like these are really beautiful neutrals that I can use anytime, and they have a really high shine to them. So I wouldn't necessarily need shimmery ones unless, I don't know, I change my mind one day. But for now, I feel like these are a good way to complete my rowing collection because I really really like these shades. So um, yeah, if you were thinking of getting any of them, I highly recommend you do because the feeling of them is so nice. Even after taking it off, I can tell that my lips feel really moisturized afterwards. So I feel like if you wanted to wear this all day, you'd be able to because it's just hydrating your lips the more you reapply it. It also reminds me a lot, the feeling of it, of the Ilia Lip Wrap. It's like that super hydrating balm. Um, I really like the feeling of this and compared to recent lip gloss purchases and other liquid lip balms or uh, lip balm lipsticks that I have, I have the new Glossier Ultra Lips, I have some of the Ma Beauty lip balm lipsticks and then Kosas lip glosses or lip oils. I feel like I like the feeling of these the most. The non-sticky feeling, the not really having any scent other than like that real quick hint of sweet mint and the fact that they feel so hydrating. I feel like I would reach for these way more than I would reach for the other ones, even though I like the other ones. These just feel, I don't know, like higher quality and nicer, if that makes any sense. So I highly recommend these. I already know that I love them. I'm gonna continue wearing these because these colors are so pretty. I'm so glad that I finally got them. So uh, let me know if you guys have tried these out yet. I know I'm like so late to the game on these, but I finally got them and I'm so glad that I did. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys have tried these out yet and what your favorite shade is. And if you haven't, if you are interested in getting these because I know I was for the longest time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a short and sweet video and I'm super excited to finally have these. I know I've said that probably a million times, so don't drink when I say I'm super excited. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because we are almost to 1100 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. So um, I'm glad to have you guys here. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next video.